In this short video, I'd like to show you a new wideband PCB dipole antenna that's now available in the Low Power Lab shop. I've gone through several different revisions here until I narrowed it down for best resonance at the frequencies of interest. At the original length, this dipole is resonant at 868 MHz. However, this is adjustable and if you cut it on these dotted lines on both ends here, you can make it resonant at 915 MHz. And this is an example of that. In fact, this was trimmed down at 73.5 millimeters for dead-on maximum 915 MHz resonance. This can, of course, also be trimmed down anywhere in between or made even shorter for higher frequencies, perhaps even beyond 2.4 GHz, like this example right here. This was designed to be a wideband antenna. It's perfect for wideband applications like LoRa, as well as any other FSK and sub gigahertz implementations. I've done some analysis, and as you can see, this dipole is highly resonant at both 868 MHz at the original length and 915 MHz if trimmed down to 73.5 mm. There are some available accessories, including SMA connectors, an RF coax cable, which makes it convenient to connect this to any Motino board or any other development board that has SMA pads. Notice that only one side of the body or the ground of the SMA connector is soldered to the antenna. This is actually the ground part of the antenna. The other side is the antenna radiator side. And this is covered with blue solder mask. There's a bit of white silk screen here. And I even added a third layer of transparent tape just to keep that ground side of the SMA body well isolated from the antenna radiator. You can even trim this pin off completely to make sure it's away from the antenna radiator. On the bottom side, there are only two pads provided and these are not connected to anything. So you can solder the SMA body pins to that just to keep it well secured. I want to thank the community users who contributed to the development of this antenna. You can find those designs, uh, more details and best practices here in the Low Power Lab forum. You should also check the Low Power Lab RF Best Practices Guide, which has a dedicated section for dipole antennas.